Martin. This is a pagkakamali po na inaako ko po na hindi po ako proud of. That is why that is the reason why nung nalaman ko po nung December 9, 2008 na may nakakuha ng hard disk ko. Ang ginawa ko po, ako po mismo nag-attempt nag, nag, nag na mag-suicide. Uh, Dr. Dr. Hayden ko. Yes, sir. Um, maliit ng showbiz. Yes, sir. Marami sa akin nakakapagkwento na yung videos na kinukunan mo na iba't ibang babae ay pinapakita mo raw sa mga barkada mo. Is this true? You're, you are under oath. Yes, I am under oath, baka sir. Baka kami maglabas ng uh, witness dito at sabihin na ituro ang totoo yun. Yes, Mala, sir. Mala, nagot ka. Sir, hindi ko po ito pinapakita kahit kayo, sir. At lahat po narinig niyo sa media, kagaya na po, alam na po natin lahat yan. Paminsan mo may sinasabi tungkol sa atin, kahit po sa inyo may sinasabi tungkol sa inyo na hindi po totoo. Minsan po may tumatayo pong witness na sinasabi, totoo ito, na sinabi ko, na ginawa ko ito, pero hindi po ito katotohanan. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that, that is all on the record. Uh, okay, let's now go to Katrina. I, I will ask Katrina. Kamusta ka na ngayon, Katrina? Anong nararamdaman mo ngayon na nandito sa harapan mo si Dr. Hayden ko? Galit po. Galit? Ano ang naging epekto ng ginawa ni Dr. Hayden ko sa iyong uh, karir bilang artista, bilang commercial model? Anong naging epekto sa iyo bilang tao? Marami pong nawala. Wala po akong trabaho simula Feb. Why, 2009? Nawalan po ako ng endorsement. Marami pong tao sa paligid ko na ang sama-sama ng tingin sa akin, hindi po ako makalabas ng bahay. Pag meron po ako, pag meron po akong taong nakikita, iniisip ko kung, napap kung napanood yung video ko. Sobrang sakit, sobrang galat kung bakit po nagawa nung hayop na to yun sa akin. Kapal ng mukha mo? Nakakatingin ka pa ng ganyan. Uh, suspension, Madam foul Chair. language is not allowed, I, please. I would like to request. Attorney, pwedeng i-cool off lang ng konti. Eh? This is stricken off the record. We have to have a very fair hearing here. One minute suspension. I'm calling for a one minute suspension of the hearing. Thank you. All right, Senator Jambi Madrigal has called for a one minute suspension of the hearing after witness Katrina Halili broke down upon the questioning of Senator Bong Revilla, how she was feeling now that she was encountering Dr. Hayden Ko. It resulted in Katrina first uh, um, having some sort of outburst, which was uh, promptly interrupted by Senator Jambi Madrigal in the interest of uh, restoring order to the proceedings. So, Senator Jambi Madrigal called for a short suspension just to allow the parties to compose themselves and for Senator Bong Revilla to then proceed with his questioning. He had just finished questioning uh, Dr. Hayden Ko about how he was feeling. Would you like some water? It's okay, I'll just... Uh... And, and Senator Bong, uh, the, the hearing is now resumed. Senator Revilla will continue his questions. Okay, uh, 
I will just ask a question along to uh, to the uh, DSWD. Where's the DSWD? I'm here, sir. Over there. Meron ba tayong statistics ng mga biktima ng mga katulad ng kasong ito? Lalo na yung mga, mga batang biktima. Mayroon po tayong mga statistics, sir, uh, Your Honor, because we have centers for women who are victims of this kind of acts, and we have re we have uh, different centers in regional offices, so we can we can give you specific statistics per center as far as these W D reports are concerned. But do we have any programs that we could uh, help them? You know, the victims, especially. The Opo, Your Honor. Uh, as far as Ms. Alilis is concerned, we can provide psychosocial counseling so that she can overcome the trauma and the pain uh, she has right now. Meron ba tayong programa rin uh, para maiwasan ang mga ganitong uh, kaso? Actually, Your Honor, it's really more on community education. At, uh, and of course, right now, Your Honor, it's really more on uh, the programs and services are really more, really more on empowering women so that they will not be victims of abuse, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Again, I, I just want to go back to Dr. Hayden Ko. Yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Hayden Ko, nothing personal. Uh you ba ni Dr. Abike Bello? Hindi pa. We're very good friends. You're very good friends. We were advised by our psychologist that it's not good for us to be together at this time. Okay. Totoo bang ma meron din kayong video? Dr. Bello? Yes. Yes. Totoo yan? Yes. Ano, buti na lang hindi kumalat. Hindi ko po alam. Hindi ko mo masabi. Hindi mo alam. Um, papano sa tingin mo, sa, sa iyong pananaw, papano kumalat itong mga videos na ito? Anong, sino ang naging source? Si, anong dahilan? Bakit kumalat ang mga videos na ito? May I narrate the story, sir. Okay. okay. May I just ask a question? Pwede lang magtanong. Kasi kaugnay ito sa tinatanong ni Senator Villa. Itong affidavit ni Dr. Vicky Bello, pinapanindigan mo rin na ito ang nangyari? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. You may proceed then. Okay. You may now answer my question. So, ang nangyari po sa akin nun, I was... I was being unfaithful to Dr. Bello. I was playing around, doing sins na shameful. Part of that is recording videos and keeping videos. August 2007, I, I began taking drugs. But I would only take drugs whenever I was with Katrina, Miss Katrina Lili. I was never buying my own drugs. Pero wala po akong supplier. At hanggang natapos po yung December. December 2007, nagkiwalay na po kami ni Miss Katrina Halili. Okay. Tapos, so wala na pong drugs muna. I'm sorry. Then something, something tragic happened to me. Same year, that's 2008, February, and I got into depression. And knowing the effects that that ecstasy has on me, you know, makakalimutan mo yung problema mo, lumalakas ulit yung loob mo, I started buying my own. From then on, I made a lot of foolish mistakes. I did a lot of sins. Iba-ibang babae. Naging reckless po ako sa behavior. Yung behavior ko po naging very reckless. Hanggang marami ng tao nagagalit sa akin. Sa medical group po marami nagagalit sa akin. Pati babae, hanggang pati yung, pati yung girlfriend ng, ng kabarkada ko, nagkaroon kami ng affair. Then, dating po ng December 2008, nasa Las Vegas po ako. December 2008, nasa Las Vegas po ako. Habang nasa Las Vegas po ako, sina, sinabi na po nung, nung sinumpong na po nung girlfriend po, nung kabarkada ko, na may nangyari na na nga sa amin. 
although medyo na-exaggerate niya, saka medyo na-iba yung kwento. Pagdating huwi namin dito sa Manila, December 9, 2008. Pagdating huwi namin dito sa Manila, December 9, 2008. Kinausap po ako ng isa kong kaibigan kasi apat po kami magkabarkada. Hindi ko na muna papangalanan yung isa. Pero yung, yung dalawa pa po, si Eric Chua, si Bistek Rosario.